Welcome to another edition of the Microsoft Perfume Quick Start series. Today's topic, finally, you can scope your fabric scans by workspaces. That is a thing that sneaked into the Perfume user interface uh, quite silently. And uh, many of the reactions after my LinkedIn post about that one were, oh my God, it's finally there. So let's dive into Perfume and I will show you what's new and what is really nice that it's there. Um, whenever we talk about the data sources and registering in uh, Perfume, we've got two steps to do. We have to add a new source and that's what I did for my fabric tenant already. So data source type is fabric. And in order to get all the technical metadata into Perfume, we need to define a scan. And that scan is now possible to, um, to limit and to scope. Initially, it was only include personal or exclude personal workspaces. Yeah, that's the only thing that we could do. But now it's different. If we continue to the next page, we get the selection, do you want to scope your scan, yes or no? And if I switch to the yes, which includes the preview, that feature is in preview, we get the list of workspaces in our tenant. The list, well, the almost full list, I think there's a limitation mentioned in the documentation, 5000 workspaces are currently supported in here. But what you can do is you can select the workspace add it to the list and that's the selected scope. So it's not a black list, it's more of a white list to add those workspaces to the list. You can also use your control key. So I press the control key over here, select multiple workspaces and add them to the list. What you can also do is you can search for some workspace names, like I want to add my fabric workspace number two in here. So that is a thing what you can do. You can also add the manual uh, way or use the manual way. You can add your GUID into that one. What is also nice, I'm going to go back, exclude personal workspaces, change that setting over here and continue. Let's see if they are there. No, they disappeared. So that list is filtered on my side. So I can't add some personal workspaces over there. And that's it. Quite a nice, it looks simple feature that is added, but it's powerful because now you can scope your fabric uh, scan to uh, a certain list of workspaces. Be aware if you search in the documentation, it's listed under the Power BI tenant scoping settings. So the scope your scan and all the information about the new things are in the Power BI uh, source documentation and not in the fabric documentation. And with that, I hope you find that new feature also that nice uh, as I do. With that, have a nice day, treat your data better and scan your fabric workspaces.